Mount the flight controller FC. Orient the arrow toward the helicopter's nose. Choose the type of swash plate according to your needs. Here we take HR3 as an example. Plug in the left cyclic servo lead. Connect to H2S1L. Plug in the right cyclic servo lead. Connect to H2S2R. Plug in the fore aft servo lead. Connect to H2S3B. Tail servo. In the H2 config software, open tail setup and select the correct tail type. Then insert the tail servo cable into S4T. Connect the receiver lead. Connect to H2RC in. Connect the ESC signal wire. Battery voltage detection line. Connect the other end to the battery. Fix the CanGS compass to the GPS. Mount with double-sided tape. Minimum size greater than 15 centimeters. Fix the URGS to the GPS mount with double-sided tape. Open the official website of Flywing. Choose Language. Download Center. Choose Flywing H2 Assistant. Unzip and open. Connect the data cable. Select the correct COM port. Choose language. Start calibration. Click to write parameters. Check whether each channel is normal. If any channel is reversed, reverse it in the transmitter menu. Please refer to this video for remote control settings. Select the correct swash plate type for your helicopter. Click servo back to center. Install the servo linkages. The servo arms must be perpendicular to the linkages. Tighten the screws. Calibrate servo direction. Drag the slitter verify if each servo is functioning properly in the right direction. Direction reversed click rev. Repeat the same steps for the other two servos. Right servo, movement OK, direction correct. Rear servo, movement OK. Direction reversed click rev. Adjust the three sliders until the swash plate is level. Check front and side views to ensure it is parallel. 
Fold the rotor blades. Increase or decrease all three sliders by the same amount, so the blades overlap horizontally. Zero the pitch gauge on the H to flight controller. Slide it onto the main rotor blade. Click positive pitch and set it to plus 12. Click negative pitch and set it to 12. Setup complete. Tail setup. Choose the correct tail type for your helicopter. Install the tail servo lead. Click Center. Install the tail servo linkage. Click Far Right. The slider should travel to the right, if the slider moves to the left instead. Check Tail REV. Click Center. Drag the slider so the slider sits at neutral midpoint. Click Far Right. Drag the Far Right progress bar. Move its tail slider all the way to the Far Right. Click Far Left. Drag the Far Left progress bar. Move its tail slider all the way to the Far Left. Click Center. Compass Calibration Set the TX Flight Mode switch to GPS. Toggle to Acro, then back to GPS. Repeat three times. Wait a few seconds GPS LED flashes red. Solid red LED indicates Mag Cal Mode. Rotate the heli through all six faces, at least two full turns each. LED color tracks calibration progress. LED sequence, solid red, solid orange, solid yellow, solid green, auto reboot. Calibration complete LED blinks and the model restarts. Helicopter placed on the ground and restarted. Measure the distance from the main GPS to the main axis. 34 centimeters. Measure the distance from the secondary GPS to the main axis. 24 centimeters. Low voltage automatic return is recommended to be turned on while keeping the parameters unchanged. Estimate the main rotor RPM using the following formula. Please refer to the instructions on the right for advanced settings.